we're going to take a look at uh, changing a password in an X3 user account and uh, setting up user accounts. One thing most important to have grasp the concept of is that there are always two user accounts in X3. You have a global user, which is basically a user for the web interface, and then you have individual folder users. So if you have a, an X3 folder, which is um, a parent folder, and then you have um, like your production folder, pilot folder, <clears throat> those are child folders. Each one of those folders has to have a user set up. So let's start by taking a look at the global or web user. So I go into administration, administration, users, users. Okay, and this is the only user that has a password. So if I want to change a password, um, I'm going to go into my account here. And within my account, I have my login name. And if I want to put in a new password, I put it in twice here. So let's say I do that. And then I'm also going to, unless I'm doing it for myself, I don't want to know somebody else's password. I'm just going to put in a generic one, like let's say 1234. And then I'm going to check this box to say require password change. All right, so then when that user, you tell them, okay, your password's 1.1234, and then they'll be required to put in their own password so nobody else knows it. And you cannot see any passwords here. All right, so I'm going to clear this out. Now, <clears throat> you can see here my login is my global login or global username. Down here, you see under administration, you see endpoints. These are different folders, and I can tell it what user code and user login I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to open up another screen here. So in this case, I'm using a user code admin in the X3 user admin, which is different than my login name here is Dennis. Normally, I would just use Dennis, but I didn't set Dennis up. So here, I'm going to go back and show you where to access the folder user now. The folder user is under Setup, Users. So here there is no password. So what I'm going to do is, since in this folder I don't have a user Dennis, I'm going to create that. And I'm going to create that. I can copy it from admin. Because I'm a consultant, I'm always going to have admin, right? So there's no problem with this. So all i got to do is change that to D-E-N-I-S. Put my name. Oh, look, there was a Dennis already. Okay. So you see, my code is Dennis, my login is Dennis. You typically want to keep these the same. You can have them different. <clears throat> if you have one that's longer than, um, let's say your X3 login, your global user is more than five characters, then that's that's where this is, is going to be here. So this login and this login need to match. Okay. Now... <clears throat> If, if you just want to pass this login to the folders, all these can actually be deleted. You don't need these. These are only really needed if you're going to pass a different folder login name than this login name. Or if this login name is over five characters, okay, you, you will need to um, pass on those down here. So in this case, um, I'm at five characters each, it's no problem, so I don't need these. It'll automatically look for this one. And actually, at the folder login, <clears throat> as long as I, even if it is over five characters, as long as I put it here, and my user code here has to be five or less, um, that'll work as well. So. You see here, I've stripped the endpoint users out of here. And I have this user code set up in my pilot folder. 
All right. So I'm going to save these changes. I guess I already did save them. All right. And here's my folder user. So I should be all set. So now I'm going to close out one of my two windows. I'm going to log out. Log back in. And you can see I'm logged in just fine. So if I go back to my navigation menu, or site map, I go under administration users, users. Again, this is my global user. I look for Dennis. And I did not save that before. OK, now it's saved. Let's log out and in again. And you see, I can log in just fine now. So go back to my navigation menu again. This is my global user. You see those user codes are gone. And then let's take a look at our folder user. Now once you have one folder user, if it's set up properly, you can just copy it to your other folders if you want. So let's pull this one up again. All right, and I select the copy here, and I'm going to copy it from pilot to production, and it may already be there. Let's say OK. It exists. That's fine. I'm also going to copy it to the X3 folder. That's my reference owner, and I don't have access rights. That's a whole other training video, but... You get the picture here, and that's how you, the basics of creating user accounts and changing passwords.